it's really exciting to take something on and um, it's not quite carved in stone yet when you work on a new play and you have an opportunity to work with the playwright. And Many people say that uh, you better make people laugh when uh, you tell someone the truth. Otherwise, it's not good. Oscar Wilde and many other playwrights said that. So I truly believe in the power of laughter. And of course, when, when we get to uh, moments in the text where uh, the actors might be having some difficulty or feel that there's something missing or something extra, and then it's wonderful to have the playwright right there who can do a kind of a, a instant mini rewrite if necessary. And in the power of talking about important issues of our society today, about global issues, about personal issues, about people living today in the US in a way that's powerful, that's truthful, that's meaningful, that makes people think, but also makes them laugh. Some of the questions have to do with very specific technical things like accent, um, but also just in the, uh, in the way that the characters uh, approach the world is a very different kind of European sensibility. How do you negotiate between the old values and the new values? How you try to adjust yourself to your new home? How you try to redefine yourself, your identity, who you are in the light of the new circumstances? So I became very immersed in this topic, writing about newcomers in New York City and beyond, about immigrants and about people uh, always redefining the word home. The play is called Ants, and uh, our, our set designer, um, Jessica, has, has really done a marvelous, um, a, a marvelous set that uses elements of the way ant colonies are structured. I think that Ants is also part of this cycle of plays about the American dream and how people can be disappointed after they imagine that America would be everything for them and they would have everything. Uh, things don't always go as uh, planned, as we all know. <laughs> 